I took this doll's head off and the peg stayed in her head so I had a hell of a job to get that out. I don't know why I did it really, I just it's um I think the doll actually looks nicer than the picture of this one, Sasha Banks. I don't know anything about these these people apart from that they're wrestlers. But um I've given the dress to my my other one, this one. And I think I'll call her I think I'll call her Antonia Spencer or Antonia Fraser. I have to make sure there's no one else called that. I don't think the dresses really suit them because you can see their abs through. It looks it this dress will look better on a fashionista most likely. But um I mean I might get there's another doll exactly the same of this one and, and a later version with the green sparkly glitter dress and I might get that and then use this body if I can for a, a spare head that I'm if if the skin tone matches. I don't think it will what I've got in mind for. I think I need a lighter skin tone because this one's got quite a dark skin tone. But we'll see. But um you know she's the doll itself quite pretty but this one looks I think better in the in the blue. Well this one looked alright in the the blue but I, I like the shoes, they're very nice. The only one these glasses suit is a uh, Sien here. Sien, Sien. Yeah, they suit her so she can have them. Trying this new dress on people. I do think this, on well, dolls I should say, I think this suits Bernadine here. I was, was going to call her Bernadette, but as this one, now Bernadette. I should call this one Bernadine. Bernardine. And the other one's Bernadette, but yeah, that suits her because it's clingy. It doesn't so look so good on these because you can see all their abs through it. But um, I do like these shoes. I think she can have this dress. It suits her as alternative outfit. She looks very autocratic. She looks nicer in this. I think she can be Lady Antonia Fraser or Lady Antonia Spencer. I must find out that there's no one actually called that. <laughs> you can see all her abs through it though, it's, so I think it spoils the ladylike effect somehow. But um, still it's okay. Oh, I should have had that on the macro setting and I thought I had but it wasn't so yeah they're lovely shoes what a shame they don't fit Barbies they're too big for the Barbies see what I mean you can see all their abs because this dress is very clingy and unforgiving what's this Daniel's delicious Daniel's delicious foods the about time I started eating this I've got got this there got this from Home Bargains ages ago. It's quite a work of art, isn't it? Can you actually see it? It's dark in my room. I'm so, yeah. Must try that. I've started these. The I've had these ages. I've just started eating these now. Toasted pine nuts. They're quite nice. I have had them before. Loads of, I used to get these a lot from Tesco, but not toasted before. But they, these are better. They're nice, the toasted ones. Oh, it's slightly mouldy. We don't want to see it, isn't it? It's got the green on it on the on the back. Oh. Uh, I wonder what that is. If it's just doesn't look like it's meant to be on that side, but it's just for continuation of this, I think. Let's see. Oh, uh, that's okay. Hmm. So it's single origin dark chocolate, Colombian. Hmm. That's very nice. Hmm. 
So we've got the blue theme going on here with Maya. It was quite good on her. So yeah, not bad. This looks, well, this looks quite good on Hildegard here. They don't have abs showing through. So that looks okay. These suit two seem to share a kind of colour scheme going on thing here at the moment, similar. Can I get my words in the right order? Might make a bit more sense, might it? So yeah, they sort of share a colour scheme theme. <laughs> I sort of thought this would suit our Sonia, seeing as she's a fashion mod top model, and um, I thought it would be like simple, understated elegance, elegance. But um, it doesn't. It just makes her look sort of frumpish, frumpy. So it doesn't suit her at all. It's too simple and um, makes her look sort of dowdy. Not Sonia's usual style at all, which is very stylish. And yeah, this doesn't work for her, which is very surprising because most things look good on our Sonia here. So we can go back on. What do I say? I'm going to name her. Uh, Lana. I'm going to call her, um, what did I say? Antonia. Lady Antonia. Matching, matching colours. Hold on, that's my colour schemes. What do you think, Sonia? Looking good against her background, though. Oh, I don't know. She's all faded and of insignificance. Which is unusual. Sonia usually looks good in most things. Let's get her glitz and glam back on, shall we? I wonder if she'd like that. We'll go with her nice gold shoes and that would go with uh, the bag. Oh. I bought four of these in the co op with this on special offer. You know, I love these Lint, Lint, Mint, Lindor. They're lovely, they are so delicious. They're all cool inside, cool inside. Really nice. Um, oh, that's rather nice, isn't it? Her knuckle dusters, but if that's what they are, and I like her shoes. So another nice addition to the collection of, that I'm I seem to be acquiring of these dollies. I'm having this white onsen bath today. It's so completely opaque. Look at that. That's nice. She fell down when I walked through and to go to the bathroom. She came from Woolworths. So I'm still got the silver seat. Woolworths. No, 374 she was. Uh, she's just like me. <laughs> oh. so many organic bananas all in one, one place, organic, I hope they manage to sell all these, there's loads. Right, oh, nice shopping. From the Waitrose Bakery, two of these lovely cheese straws, and they're delicious, I love these cheese straws. Um, these are really nice. And one is shorter than the other one, but it doesn't matter because they were very, very cheap at the end of the day. And I've got this lovely Barbie from Smith's Toys. I used to think it was pronounced Smythe's because it's called Y. But look at these lovely dresses, aren't they lovely? I think I might call her Comfort. Look at this lovely dress. This is what I call a proper Barbie dress. The lovely pink. And the one she's got on is okay. But, um, yeah, she can be comfort and joy, so she can be cousin to comfort and related to Heidi, obviously, and all the other Barbies I've got with their individual names. But I like it when you get other clothes with them. And these are nice. These are what I call traditional proper Barbie clothes. I'm so disappointed with the new fashionistas of 2020. The dolls themselves are nice, but the fashions are 
most of the fashions are terrible and they all look like they've got flat feet so yeah there's a little haul I got yesterday these I got from for, from Waitrose for one pound and um, you may recall I've already got some I've got two packs of milk chocolate ones from the co-op a while back but these dark chocolate which I think I will prefer from an independent health food store I got these oat flips are very nice and from Waitrose I got these oat crunch sugar free biscuits my favourite veggie straws kale and spinach from the independent health food store had to get a large pack they didn't have smaller and these I like these sweet and smoking hippies chickpea puffs they're nice and some organic Brazils from Waitrose oh and these are the individual small packs in this larger pack because um, I think they're slightly you get slightly less or I can't remember they're slightly better value but I thought they might last me longer because I'd open a pack of that size and then I eat a whole lot in one go whereas I might be able to make these smaller packs last longer but I, I doubt it knowing me <laughs> there we are there's the um, milk chocolate ones but I prefer the dark chocolate ones they're really nice well they're both nice they're both tasty but I like these are my favorite and you don't see these very many places I'm, I only saw these in Waitrose nowhere else so far to give. I wonder what it'll be like today. Yikes. Note for the adult collector. It says for no one under the age of 14. So, YouTube, please take note. Oh, there she is. She -ra. This product is intended for adult collectors and is not intended for children under 14 years of age. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful horse. Oh, I love the way these Shira dolls action figures that their toes bend and um, they have got good articulation I have to say very very good yeah she's nice she's so poseable and you can get her arms right up so that it looks very dramatic I like a pink sword and her lovely gold boots she is nice. I'm not going to say dolly. She's not a dolly. She's an action figure. <laughs> yes. And she's very, very beautiful. They should make Barbie dolls looking more like her. We need some fashionistas that look more glamorous. They're not exactly fashionistas anymore. They're very mundane a lot of the time. This is what I call glamour. Oh, she's lovely. I should do a proper review on these dolls at an, another time. I'm not into the WWE itself, not even the slightest. I don't like things like that, to be honest. I th it's still like combat, isn't it? Even though it's probably all, well, they say it's all choreographed and everything, but it's not what I'm into. Anyhow, I'll talk about those another time because there won't be enough space now on this video because this video is going to have a lot of steel pictures. Well, they're talking about those awful fires in Australia and those poor koalas. But, oh, I love koalas. They're so cute. So sad to think of and poor kangaroos and all the uh, any other, other poor animals that suffer suffering because of this. Because I always feel more sorry for the animals because people don't bother about them as much as they do people, obviously. But... Poor souls.
look all sloths and everything. It's terrible. terrible. And then they said someone might have been doing it deliberately. That is terrible. It's not, don't bear thinking. What is wrong with people? I always say there's something wrong with human beings. And uh, I think the world just went mad a few years ago, or a few decades ago or something, and it's still going on. Anyhow, yeah, on that happy note. The sparkle, they're so pretty. I've, I'm getting the Barbie in the bathtub, but I'm so disgusted that the Mattel have seen fit to paint on have a paint-on bikini, a bathing costume, so that kids would be saying, why is Barbie wearing a bathing costume in the bath? And how will parents explain that away? Oh, well, because there's people in the world so repressed and uptight that they regard themselves as decent, moral people. Therefore, you mustn't even see a doll naked. And they've got the self-righteous right on their side of being judge it, judging people as immoral if they have a naked doll because they find it offensive and you know of course they won't say that they probably say to the kids be quiet don't ask questions there's Keona in her new Hello Kitty top a new fashion pack Barbie and Ken and uh, Nikki Bella doll because of the nice fashions there she is she said I'm not into the wrestling at all but uh, the dollies are pretty She's a nice doll. Nice dolly. Very pretty. There we are. Perfect. The red shoes don't really go, but still, they're nice. Matches her lips. I like the gold streak in her hair. Well, I've got the lovely dolly in the bath, but um, I'm so disappointed that Mattel felt the need to put a bikini on her, as though, you know, all decent and moral people would even, wouldn't even dream of getting into a bath unless you were covered up. It's utterly ridiculous. But there we go, she's a nice dolly. Look how pretty she is. But she's meant to be like, you know, having a bath. And it's like the makers are so terrified of nudity or pandering to the people who are terrified of a naked doll that they have to get, like, you've got to wear a bikini to have a bath. Aren't kids going to say, but Ma, why is Barbie wearing a bikini to have a bath? What will they say? Stop asking questions. You know, I'd say, well, because they're pandering to idiotic people, basically. But uh, she's a pretty girl. I might get the other one as well, so then they've got the two and they can have their baths together. <laughs> I'll say that they're at a spa. They're at a spa. That's why they're... They, embarrassed and covered up because they're not in the privacy of their own home they're at a public spa even though it looks like their own bathroom <laughs> it's good she's got articulation at the knee but i'm sad that she's got flat feet well not sad but i mean you know i'd rather she'd had shoes that other people could take heeled shoes because you're more limited when they've got got four more of these from the co-op because I'm going to come a time when you won't be able to get these again for a while and I've got quite a collection of these now. I love these lint mint. They're delicious. Oh, got another big finished production. This looks quite good. It's from an old 60s um, series. I've watched some of this on YouTube. It's quite good. I think this bloke looks quite good in the part. I wish they'd remake it with um, these characters. And look what I've got. She hasn't got much green in her hair, but she's lovely. So pretty, the Dream Often girl. Shame she's flat-footed again, but still, she's so pretty. And there she is there on the box with Barbie. Here she is, and I'm unusual that there's no notice on her box. I've seen reviews where there's an inspiring quote, but she doesn't get one. Her box is bare, like the Ken dolls, so they didn't think she needed an inspiring quote on this one for some reason. I'll take my sunglasses off now. And I had to un I d undid her hair and I had a job to get the band back on it again. Because when I pulled her sunglasses off, some of her hair got pulled out and looked all frizzy in the front. And I've heard people say her hair's frizzy, but it isn't. It's actually very, very soft. So maybe there's just diff they vary how they're, the difference in how they're made. But she's lovely. Rana, this is. I've called her Rana. I'd already named her before I got her. I wish there was more pastel shades in her hair. I can't see any green. Tiny bit of yellow. It's 
so pretty though. Look at pink lips, so nice. Mm -hmm.